Hey guys, what's going on? So, remember when I rented the 2011 Land Rover Range Rover Sport? Well, turns out it was not supercharged, but the listing said it was. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the key differences you will notice with the Range Rover Sport and the Range Rover Sport Supercharged. Generally, the Range Rover Sport won't have any special indications of supercharging anywhere. Not on the instrument cluster, not on the back, nothing. So, when I rented the 2011 Land Rover Range Rover Sport last month, like I said, the listing said supercharged, and <laughs> boy was I misled. So... I took supercharged out of the titles of the videos I've made, but unfortunately I can't go back and edit the audio and take myself saying supercharged out of it. But what I can do is tell you uh, what to look for so that way you don't get gypped, because I got gypped. The Range Rover Sport Supercharged will have a supercharger whine. That's the first thing. So like if you floor it, give it the beans, you will notice the supercharger whine. It also says supercharged on the tachometer. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it also says supercharged on the trunk. So, ladies and gentlemen, all this time or within those two days of rental, I was driving the 375 horsepower variant of the Range Rover Sport. And all this time I was thinking it was a 510 horsepower supercharged variant. Nope. So it is not the most powerful vehicle I've driven to date. That is still the 2011 Mercedes CL550. That had 429 horsepower from a twin turbo 4.7 V8. But anyway, as for the uh, Range Rover Sport, um, the guy said he paid 74 grand for it brand new, and he said it was supercharged. But I'm starting to believe. He just said that to make people believe it is supercharged just to get people to rent his car. I mean, it was a great car, don't get me wrong. It was nice to drive. It had plenty of power. So you don't really need the supercharger, but still, very misleading. And when I did the 0 to 60 video, I knew something was fishy when I didn't hear a supercharger whine. And then I also looked at some other people's videos and I thought, ah, oh, there's a supercharged indicator on the dashboard. Why isn't it on my rental car? Well, turns out it isn't supercharged. I've just been gypped. Can you believe that? I certainly can't, but anyway... Take care, you guys. Hope this doesn't ever happen to you if you choose to rent a very expensive car like that. Peace out.